Today we will be looking at the difference between population development. No, we won't. <laughs> Today we will be looking at the difference between population distribution and population density. Now there is a big difference between these two concepts. Population distribution refers to how spread out people are across a region or where people live. It looks at how settlements have developed over time and essentially how these settlements look. Population density, on the other hand, looks at how many people there are per unit of area. Now for the rest of this video, we will be using square kilometers as our unit of measurement for area. With population density, we are basically looking at how many people there are within one little area. The more people there are in that defined area means that there is going to be a higher population density and the fewer people there are in that defined area means that there is going to be a lower population density. But we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's first have a look at the different types of population distribution that exist. The first type of population distribution that we will look at is dispersed, also known as scattered. Dispersed population distribution is when people live very far apart from each other. And this is very common in rural areas, especially farmlands. So each farmer and his family will have their own house and their own plot of land, and it is very far from all the other farmers. The next type of population distribution is clustered. Another name for clustered can also be nucleated. With clustered population distribution, houses and buildings are built fairly close together and they are often built around a central point, such as a church. Any new towns that are planned and developed nowadays tend to be built in this clustered fashion. Our third and final type of population distribution is called linear. Linear population distribution happens when houses or buildings are built along a certain feature, such as a shoreline or a river or even a road. Now that we understand the different types of population distribution, we can have a look at density. Now remember, density refers to how many people there are within a certain area. And remember, for the rest of this video, we will be looking at square kilometers. So, if there are more people, within the square kilometer, we say that that place has a higher population density, or we say that it is a very dense population. If there are very few people within that square kilometer, we say that that population is very sparse. There is a calculation that goes along with population density, and it looks like this. Population density equals the total population divided by the area. And now the unit will be people per square kilometer. Obviously, the higher the number is, the more dense this population will be. And the lower the number is, the more sparse this population will be. Let's practice some population density calculations. The first country we will look at is India. The latest data that I could get for India in terms of its population size is 1 billion 380 million 400 thousand 385 people and then we have to divide it by the area which is 3 million 287 thousand 259 point zero six square kilometers and if we put that in our calculator we get an answer of 419 point eighty people per square kilometer so let's just round that up can you imagine within one square kilometer having 420 people. That is the average population density of India. Let's look at another example, South Africa. The latest information I could get on the population of South Africa is 59,308,690 people divided by the total area of South Africa, which is 1,213,090 square kilometers. Put that in your calculator and you get 48.89 people per square kilometer. Okay, so let's round it up. That is about 49 people within one square kilometer. Let's do a third example. A country which is very sparsely populated, Greenland. Currently, there are about 
56,770 people living in Greenland and the total area of this country is 2,166,086 square kilometers. So putting that in our calculator will give us an answer of 0.026 people per square kilometer. Based on recent research, we can actually have a look and see which of our continents are most densely populated and which are most sparsely populated. The rankings go as follows. Asia is the most densely populated continent, followed by Europe. In third place is Africa, fourth place is North America, closely followed by South America, and then in sixth place is Australia. Now remember that Antarctica doesn't have a permanent population. However, there are a few thousand researchers that can be found there at any given time. Even though Europe is in second place in terms of being most densely populated and Asia is in first place, there is actually a big gap between the density of these two continents. Europe and the country China, which is in Asia, are more or less the same size, but China has almost twice the population of Europe. Currently, India and China are the most populated countries in the world. The continent of Africa is expected to experience very rapid population growth, whereas Europe's population is expected to shrink. So you can see that population density varies widely across different countries and different continents, and population distribution and population density are affected by various factors which I will get into in a future video. So be sure to watch part two of this video series. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!